hello all welcome to tech capture myself Vishal bulbule and in this video we are going to see how to pass professional cloud architect gcp certification exam so as you know there are a lot of certification provided by google cloud we'll first see where these professional cloud architect exam stand in google cloud certification hierarchy so i'll just first go to google cloud certification page and we'll see what are the different levels of certification provided by a google cloud so here you could see there are a three hierarchy level for a google cloud certification so first a foundational certification which contains only a cloud digital leader but this is not considered as a technical certification and it covers mostly a functional knowledge of a cloud and then in associate category we have one certification here and in associate category we have a google cloud associate engineer certification and this basically tests your understanding of uh, fundamentals of google cloud and a basic understanding of all the google cloud services and in professional certification there are multiple certificates so here you could see first is a cloud architect which is considered as a main google cloud certification and other are a specialty certification so for data engineer role there is a data engineer certification DevOps certification, network engineer, security engineer, and machine learning engineer, as well as a workspace administrator. So these all are specialty certification. But a cloud architect is considered as a main or a central certification, which should have a basic understanding of overall Google Cloud architecture knowledge, as well as the deep exercise on the GCP services. So I'll go to this cloud architect exam page and we'll discuss all the points one by one so for this exam first we'll discuss on prerequisite so what will be the prerequisite for this exam should we appear for any basic exam or associate en engineer exam before appearing for this exam so from google cloud perspective there is no official mandatory for this exam that you should first appear for a cloud digital leader and then only can appear for a professional cloud architect or first you should go for associate cloud engineer and then only you can go for a professional cloud architect exam no there is no such limitation from a google cloud site you can appear directly from professional cloud architect exam but that is not recommended so if you are having a good hands-on and very confident about a google cloud knowledge then you can appear for this exam before any other exam so that is the first thing but i will suggest based on my experience there is no such a rule book that you should have minimum two years of experience in google cloud or you should have a minimum one year of experience in google cloud so there is no rule book it depends upon your total experience and how much you worked in a google cloud so suppose just i am giving my example so i worked extensively in google cloud core architecture and application design and implementation and i'm able to gain a good understanding of all the gcp services so i could clear my gcp certification within a two month itself so i cleared four of the gcp certification within a six month so it's based on your experience and how good you are having exposure on a google cloud so you cannot define any rule book that you should have a two years of experience or a four years of experience so it's totally depend on how much you practically worked and how much you are having hands-on on a google cloud and once you feel okay you are having good hands-on and you should go for certification then you can start preparing for this pc exam and you can appear for this exam so second thing is a exam pattern so how will be the exam pattern so this exam pattern you could see this length of this exam is 2 hour and it will contains 50 to 60 multiple choice question and multiple select question so 2 hours are sufficient for this exam if you already appeared from cloud engineer exam and now you are preparing for professional cloud architect exam so there is one major difference in cloud architect exam and other exam that this exam contains the case study so you will get two case study out of four case studies provided in google's official website and there will be around 10 to 12 questions on that case study so basically they will provide you one requirement and based on that requirement 
they will ask a question that which is a cost effective and best solution you should suggest to client based on the requirement so question will be mostly around that so i will show you that four case study out of this four you will get any two in the exam so here you can go on this exam guide to see a four case study okay so here you could see this case studies ehr healthcare helicopter racing link mount kick games and terra mar so you can see any other youtube videos also only for this uh, case studies explanation and how you should look for the best suitable solution in this case studies so these case studies might update in a year or six months so always before going for exam just see the latest case studies because you will get any two out of these four so i'll just show you one sample case study so what will be the exact case study will look like so they will give just requirement document kind of case study and here the major part is business requirement so they will give you this business requirement they want to onboard new insurance quickly as possible they want to provide 99.9 percent .9 availability then you should look for which google cloud service provided this highest availability and reduce latency maintain regulatory compliance decrease infrastructure administration cost so these are the basic requirement functional requirement and there they will give you a technical requirement and based on this requirement you should understand like which is the best google cloud service you can provide to your client or this requirement which should be highly available and cost effective okay so based on this you will get a question so you can find multiple explanation on this uh, case studies on youtube or udemy or another websites also so you can prepare for that and be prepared whenever you get two case studies out of this so how you can answer these questions so there will be multiple questions multiple choice questions only but it will be based on the case studies so that is the major difference between other exams other gcp exams and a professional cloud architect exam so it will cover mostly a 20 to 30 percent of your exam so if you go here it will also mention case studies question make 20 to 30 percent of the exam and assess your ability to apply your knowledge and a realistic business situation so that is the major thing while preparing your professional cloud architect certification and then another point is how to prepare for this exam or what are the best resources to prepare for this exam so based on my experience i would suggest a google cloud documentation is a best source of study while preparing this exam so if you already appeared for a associate cloud engineer exam associate cloud engineer exam is mostly focus about which services you will use for a particular requirement but a architect level exam will focus on which is the best service out of this four service which you will use for this requirement so it mostly about a best solution you are giving to your client and it will focus about a few points like highly available solution cost effective solution that are the points to consider while giving your answer okay then i'll just explain few more points while preparing from the google cloud documentation so i'll just go to compute documentation gcp i'll just go to any of these uh, document and if you are looking for a compute and if you are reading a compute engine documentation so you always look out for this support section and you could read a known issues and what are the troubleshooting so general issues quotas in the google cloud console might be incorrect so how to overcome these issues or how to improve your services so this resource section and support section you should read so here there will be a lot of frequently asked question or unknown issues it will help you to understand the issues while you are designing your application and 
so uh, so just go to here frequently asked question so here also this question will help you to understand what are the known issues while designing your application and in your case studies or in your questions they will give you such a requirement that client is facing this this kind of issue and you want to give a solution to client with the best available google services so this section will help you so it's not only for compute engine if you are preparing for compute storage gke or any kind of a uh, service just have a look on this uh, frequently asked question or a support section and also on a resource section so that is one a major thing and now i'll just walk you through what will be the questions like how questions will be there so the only thing you should prepare for you won't get a one liner question in your professional cloud architect exam your question will be like four to five lines so it's like you have to read question carefully and understand what is the situation and based on that you should understand the exact requirement and what you can propose for a best solution so i'll just show you some sample question here so you can see this sample question on google cloud official certification website i'll put just simple detail to just move ahead Okay. now just just look at this question so this question is having almost a 10 line so this kind of question you will get so you have to read each line carefully because in one single question they might cover a three to four different gcp services so the server that hosts these websites are older and users are complaining about a sluggish response times so you should be aware like which service can provide you a faster rate of request or which can serve the request with a short amount of time then distributed denial of service attacks how you can prevent that low risk application and then denial of service traffic from entering your vpc network what should you do so there are a different option they will mention so if you are prepared well you will able to identify the correct option and while correct going for a correct option only it's not a straightforward for a professional cloud architect exam you might look a two option correct one but you have to eliminate based on the your uh, understanding of the google cloud services so first keep eliminating the incorrect answer and then select one answer about the remaining options so in that way you can find out the correct answer and then one more thing so before going for exam and once you are prepared for all a services and a concept in google cloud so i would again suggest sample question is a must you should prepare using the sample question as well so the sample question you might find on a different website like exam topics or google cloud exam so there are gcp exam sample questions if you put there are few website so this gcp exam question is also a good website and i would again suggest a exam topic so you can prepare that sample question before the exam so i won't say you will get as it is question from there but definitely you will get a similar question and at least it will give a clear understanding of what type of question will be asked in the exam and you won't feel okay that is exactly out of the boom for you so that is the main thing you have to do before exam is a sample question so it's not like you have to look out for exact dumps you won't get that because this exam is not a straightforward and you can say a very easy but you are if you are having a good hands on good practice on gcp and you already worked on a gcp having a good practice on gcp then you will definitely able to crack this exam with a good preparation so if you need any kind of guidance or help in understanding of any gcp concept or a preparation you can reach out to me i am putting my email in the description 
so last i will say a best of luck for your exam and thank you for watching this video